I am Sylvester McNutt III. Welcome to episode two of Find Yourself Friday. Today, we want to talk about the name of the show, How to Find Yourself. I'm going to give you three tips on how to find yourself. If you're young, you need to do this. If you're old, you need to do this. If you're watching this video, you need to do this. Step number one, you have to try different things than what you're used to. Trying new foods. Instead of driving the same route home, take a different route. Instead of going to the same neighborhood bar where you know everybody, go somewhere where you don't know anybody. When you get in the habit of trying new things, you get into a habit of expanding your mind. You get into a habit of open-mindedness. Open-mindedness is going to open up so many avenues for you in your personal life, in your love life, and in your business life. If you are closed-minded, then you close off the opportunity. If it's business, you close off your opportunity to new customers or new revenue. If it's people, now you're closed off to the potential of meeting the love of your life. As friends, you miss meeting great people and great connections. So you never want to be closed-minded. Step number two. Make yourself uncomfortable. We are creatures of habits. Human beings, we love doing the same things over and over and over. We love that consistency because that consistency gives us comfort. And in that comfort, we feel safe. We all, we all want to feel safe. Fuck safety. You need to be uncomfortable. You need to be in situations that don't feel good. You need to be in situations that cause you to critically think about what's going on. You need to be in situations that cause you to process data that's new to you. You cannot find yourself until you deal with stressful situations, until you deal with situations that are outside of your normal logic, outside of your normal baseline of thinking. This is why you have to be uncomfortable. You have to be willing to get uncomfortable to really find out who you are. If you're, if you're always in situations and you know how you're going to respond and you're in the same situations, who is that person? That's nobody. That's comfortable. You get uncomfortable and then it's like, oh, well, well now I got to look inside. Now I got to critically think. Now I have to process this information. Who am I? How am I going to handle this? Do I stress out? Do I freak out? Do I have composure? Can people count on me? The third thing I want you to do is travel and meet new people. Now, I'm looping that together. Because there are people who can't travel, but you can still meet new people. If you can travel and meet new people, then you can, you can achieve it the best way. But if you can only just meet new people, that's perfect too. So here's the reason why you need to travel. Traveling is going to put you in a position to learn. Just like I already mentioned, it's going to put you in a position of open-mindedness where you have to learn. You have to put yourself out there. You have to be uncomfortable because you are literally in a new environment. So things like the street science may be different. The customs where you are may be different. Even traveling from different cities in your own country, they're going to be a little bit different than the city that you're used to. It's so important that you travel so you can expand your consciousness, so you can expand your experience. Now, let's say you can't travel. Right? When, you meet, when you travel, you meet new people. When you travel, you meet new people. But let's say you can't travel. You want to proactively try to meet new people. So here's a way you can do that. Maybe sign up for an intramural sports league in your neighborhood. Maybe go to a new gym. You already go to one gym. Go to a new gym. Maybe you'll meet new people. Go to yoga classes. You know, Don't go there just say, hey, I want to meet new people. I'm here for it. No, but just go to a yoga class. Go to a cooking class. Go to Barnes & Noble where there's a lots of people who like to read books, right? Maybe if that's your interest. Go to the bars, go to the clubs, go to sporting events. Go to government functions. Sounds kind of weird, but there's people who are at government functions all the time where they're talking about different policies and laws that want to be implemented. You might meet someone there that shares a common interest with you. If you're into comic books, go to Comic Con. You got to go to Comic-Con, places where they do cosplay. Whatever you're into, that's where you want to go meet new people. Because you want to meet new people who share interests with you. Thank you for tuning in to Find Yourself Friday with Sylvester McNutt III. If you're going to apply these tips, 
I want you to get in the comment section below and let me know what tip and strategy you're going to use. And then a week from now, two weeks from now, after you use this video, let me know. Let me know if it worked. See you guys next Friday for another episode of Find Yourself Friday. Peace.